Ang topic natin ngayon is all about solving exponential functions. Bago tayo magsimula, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. What you need to know? Aalamin natin kung paano mag-solve ng exponential equation. Example 1. Solve the equation 64 is equal to 8 raised to x minus 2. Step 1. Write each side of the equation as an exponential expression having the same base. So, dapat magkatulad yung base nila. Ito yung given natin. 64 is equal to 8 raised to x minus 2. So, dapat magkatulad itong base nila. Ito ang base, itong 8, at ang exponent ay x minus 2. So, dapat magkatulad ang 8 at 64, itong base na dalawang ito. 64 can be expressed as 8 squared. Dahil 8 times 8 is equal to 64. So, equal sila. Then, copy the equal sign. And 8 raised to x minus 2. So, dahil magkatulad na ang base nila, yung nasa left at saka nasa right side ng equation, so, pwede na nating isolve. Ang step 2, use the law of exponent. If b raised to x is equal to b raised to y, then pwede nating i-equate ang kanilang exponent. Then x is equal to y. So 8 raised to 2 or 8 squared is equal to 8 raised to x minus 2. So magkatulad ang base, so pwede nating i-equate ang kanilang exponent. So magiging 2. Itong 2 galing doon sa exponent ng 8. Then copy the equal sign. X minus 2 galing naman sa exponent nitong 8 na nasa kabilang side ng equation. Then solve for the unknown. Solve for X. So 2 is equal to X minus 2 can be expressed as x minus 2 is equal to 2. So, inilagay lang natin yung nasa kabilang side ng equation doon sa kabila. So, to isolate o para maibukod ang variable x, transpose negative 2 to the other side of the equation, then change the sign. Dahil negative, magiging positive. So, x is equal to 2 plus 2. Yung plus 2, galing dito sa negative 2. Tinranspose natin, kaya nag-iba ang sign. Then, 2 plus 2 is equal to positive 4. So, the value of x, o yung unknown natin, is positive 4. So, to check kung tama ang inyong sagot, yung 4, pwede nating i-substitute sa unknown. So, magiging 8 raised to 4 minus 2. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. So, 8 squared is equal to 64. So, tama ang ating sagot. Next, example. Solve the equation 3 raised to 2x is equal to 81. Step 1, so dapat magkatulad ang, ang base nila. Ito yung ating given, 3 raised to 2x is equal to 81. Then 81 can be expressed as 3 raised to 4. Dahil lang 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3, 27. Times 3 is 81. 
So, kaya ang 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81. Step 2. Use the law of exponent. If b raised to x is equal to b raised to y, then x is equal to y. So, pwede na nating equate ang kanilang exponent kung magkatulad ang kanilang base. So, dahil magkatulad ang base nila na 3, ginawa na natin kanina. So, equate natin ang kanilang exponent. 2x, galing dito. Then, 4, galing naman sa exponent ang kabilang side ng equation. Then, let us isolate the variable x. Divide both side by positive 2. Bakit positive 2? Dahil iyon yung numerical coefficient nitong x. So, magiging 2x divided by 2 equals 4 divided by 2. So, magiging x, ito yung makakancel, may iwan ng x, then 4 divided by 2 is positive 2. So, ito yung ating magiging sagot. So, kung isa-substitute natin sa original equation, magiging 3 raised to 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2 is positive 4. So, 3 to the 4th is equal to 81. Yung 3 to the 4th, imumultiply nyo ang 3 sa kanyang sarili ng apat na beses. Next example. Solve the equation. 1 half raised to x plus 2 equals 16 raised to negative x. So, step 1, kailangan magkatulad ang kanilang base. Base ng nasa left at nasa right side ng ating equation. Ito yung ating given. Then, 1 half raised to x plus 2 can be expressed as 2 raised to negative 1. Yung 1 half ay magiging 2 raised to negative 1. So, kung ito ay 1 fourth, magiging 4 raised to negative 1. Kung ito naman ay uh, 1 over 5, magiging 5 raised to negative 1. Raised to x plus 2 equals 2 to the fourth raised to negative x. Ang 2 to the fourth is equal to 16. Dahil kapag minultiply natin ang 2 na apat na beses sa kanyang sarili, ang sagot ay 16. So, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So, magkatulad na ang kanilang base. Yung base na nasa left at nasa right side ng ating equation. So, pwede na nating equate ang kanilang exponent dahil magkatulad na ang kanilang base. So, negative 1, ito yon times the quantity of x plus 2 equals 4 times negative x. Then, negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Copy the equal sign. Then, 4 times negative x is negative 4x. Then, combine like terms. Negative x. Then, transpose negative 4x to the other side of the equation. Then, change the sign. Naging positive. At ang negative 2, ita transpose Kaya, naging positive 2. Then, negative x plus 4x is positive 3x. Copy equals positive 2. Para mabukod ang variable x, divide both side of the equation by the numerical coefficient na positive 3. So, magiging 3x over 3 equals 2 over 3. So, ang magiging sagot is x equals 2 over 3. So, to check, pwede nating substitute ang variable x 
o ang nasolve nating value ng x sa ating original equation. So, that's all for this session. Ang next topic natin is all about solving exponential inequalities. Thanks and God bless. Thank you.